Alright guys, Simply Pops here, back at it again with another video. We have the KSI fight today, my home pod preparing for shipment, it should arrive on Friday on time. And we have the Nintendo Labo, we have YouTubers, I guess Nintendo invited some popular YouTubers and, you know, into the lab to play with Nintendo Labo. I wish I was one of those guys, but it is what it is. And, you know, I wanted to double upload today, but since the Culture 2 album review was so long, 30 minutes long, I figured double uploading would be a little bit of an overkill. So, I want to let you guys breathe with that video and then drop this video today, which is Sunday. So, the KSI versus Joe fight. I gotta say, I was so unexpected to watch this uh, because I thought it was bullshit. Um, <laughs> I thought it was bullshit. I thought it was fake. I thought it was just something to get views and clicks for a second. But I didn't know it was going to be a real event. I didn't know it was going to be a real thing. And I got to say, these two really did put up a good fight, I must say. KSI, you know, with the power and the speed. And then Joe, I don't know. Joe was trying to hang in there. But the problem with Joe is... I feel like he should have been a little bit more on the defense side. He should have been dodging those punches and then hitting KSI because in boxing, it's, it's skill. It's skill. You got to watch your opponent's movement. If he's throwing a lot of shots at once, he's going to get tired, and then you just punch him right back. Punch KSI, I'm trying to say. But overall, you know, no hate to none of them. I'm just so happy that they actually put up this fight because look at the Soldier Boy and Chris Brown. I thought that was going to be a real thing. I'm like, yo, it's March. When is this fight coming out? And turns out it never happens. At least they, they were the man of their word and they actually, you know, put up this fight. And I'm definitely happy with that. But, you know, overall, shout out to KSI. Um, and, yeah, he won. He won. Um, if you guys, I hate to spoil it like that. But if you guys didn't watch it, I'll throw a link in the description. But he won the fight. And, yeah, shout out to KSI. And, you know, he was kind of talking smack. He said he, he was calling out the Paul brothers, Jake Paul, Logan Paul. He wanted to fight dumb. If any YouTuber wants it, you can come get it. Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, any of the Pauls, I don't care. Bring it. You know, I think once you win something, you can't get a little too cocky. You know what I mean? You, let's say you lose that fight now. You're going to feel like crap. And as I'm thinking about it, I'm like, who is boxing at, you know, 12 o'clock p.m. afternoon? But I just realized the UK time, if it's 12 o'clock here, then it's like 8 o'clock there or 7 o'clock. Um, that stream had a million views. Mind blowing, huh? And that's one thing I like about live stream. You can see the comments and see what people think. It's a beautiful thing. So moving on from that, Nintendo Labo. Um, you know, popular YouTubers or some YouTubers who are a fan of Nintendo or, you know, whoever's affiliated with Nintendo. They got invited to play with Nintendo Labo here in New York City. And, you know, I live in New York. Nintendo could have hit me up, but... I guess I'm not big enough, I guess. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is, man. Um, but just judging by their reviews, people are really a fan of Nintendo Labo. Um, but the thing is, let's say, for example, you have that robot, right? You're using the robot Labo, and let's say you fall back or you sit down, you forgot it was on your back because cardboard is light, and you break it. You know, the, the thing with the cardboard is it's so fragile. Not really fragile, but it could easily break. So yeah, you know, it's fun, it's easy to build, well, somewhat easy. People love them, you know, especially with kids and just the building and the creativity, you can mark them up. It's still cardboard at the end of the day, we gotta realize that. It's probably gonna last you maybe for like a month if you playing it every day. So, you know, you just gotta keep that in mind. I feel like Nintendo should have priced this at $60. I think $60... It's expensive for a cardboard, but you gotta think it's a game. You know, you know, sixty dollar game is normal. Seventy and eighty dollars is a little bit of a savage price for cardboard, I must say. So, you know, I'm definitely gonna review it. I'm definitely gonna get it to review it for you guys. I might even do like a torture test or a durability test. I might do something like that down the road. I don't know, maybe. Um, but Nintendo Labo looks pretty cool. I like the motorcycle one. I think that's my favorite one. That might be the first one I'm gonna try. We have the fishing pole, but most importantly, I wanna try out the robot. And a lot of people have been wondering do you need four joy cons for that you have the you have some kind of cardboards on his feet you have the backpack and i know the backpack inside of it you have like some ropes so you know so the camera on the red joy con or the joy con that has the camera you know it's gonna sense those movements you know the joy con is really really a smart controller like it's a lot packing into these joy cons hold on Voila, Joy-Cons. So it's a lot packing into these little Joy-Cons. This one especially, the one with the infrared sensor or the camera. Um, so it's gonna sense those movements. So uh, amazing, amazing idea. But you know, at the end of the day, if it's for kids, K 
kids are gonna destroy stuff or unless they're responsible enough so um yeah I, i'm just not really too sure but stay tuned if you guys are new around here make sure you guys subscribe because i am going to give you guys that unboxing and that setup experience of nintendo labo so moving on from nintendo labo i cannot wait sorry i don't know that one that leads us to the next thing we're going to talk about the apple home pod <laughs> We gotta talk about the Apple HomePod. So um, my Apple HomePod is actually preparing for shipment. So Apple took my money and now is preparing for shipment. It's definitely coming on Friday, February 9th. And you guys are gonna see that unboxing video day one. I'm gonna try the best I can. As soon as I get it, I'm dropping the video the fastest I can to edit it and upload it. So yeah, so it's not gonna be easy competing with the other YouTubers, but I'm doing the best I can to give you guys that quality video day one um but um you know i'm excited to hear how it's gonna sound i don't know let me know in the comments like which feature are you excited for about the home pod i don't know if i said that right but you guys get what i'm trying to say um are you excited for the sound the siri integration or the screen on the top the little led screen on the top the siri logo i guess i don't know i'm just curious um and what song are you gonna play i don't even know what song i'm gonna really play um, the Weeknd and Kendrick Lamar, they dropped a song, I might play that, I might play some Migos, but just obviously for YouTube reasons, I might play some non-copyrighted music, that's just only fair. But yeah, I'm very, very excited for this thing, and um, and I'm just really excited for the sound, most importantly, because everything is all in one, and it's cheaper than the Google Home Max, too, so. And that leads me to the next thing, talking about $350, Apple employees, if you work at Apple, you're getting a 50% off discount on the Apple HomePod. So that's exactly $150. $150 is a perfect price for a smart Bluetooth speaker. And technically the HomePod is not Bluetooth. Even though it has Bluetooth 5.0, it's not gonna be supported with you know Bluetooth. It's not like a Bluetooth speaker. Apple's not gonna make it like that. But they can push out certain updates to enable that access so $150 and really I think Apple is doing this because the HomePod is not really selling as well or the pre-orders I should say it's not doing as well but um they did the same thing with the original Apple watch the first generation Apple watch which I should have on my wrist because I'm an Apple guy I don't know why I don't have it on my wrist but it did the same thing with the Apple watch because people didn't see a need for this but throughout time the Apple watch is becoming the world's most popular watch and I'm, and I'm being real. I'm not being the Apple fanboy. That's just the stats. It's damn near the most popular watch right now on the market. Um, so, you know, throughout time, the HomePod is going to be one of those items where throughout time it's going to mature. It's going to be better. It's probably going to be um, supported with all devices, which, by the way, if you don't have an iOS device, you may as well cancel your pre-order of the Apple HomePod. This only works with iOS devices, not even a Mac. If you have a Mac, this thing, you cannot set it up. And I think that's kind of silly, but um, obviously I have an iOS device, of course. The only problem is you have to update your iPhone. I really don't want to update my iPhone ever since Apple is slowing down the performance or CPU throttling the performance. I don't want my iPhone 10 to slow down that easy, man. A thousand dollars. I don't want that thing to slow down. So I might do it with my iPhone 6, maybe, or um, iPhone 6 Plus, maybe. Just update. You have to be on iOS 11.2.5 if you want to set up your Apple HomePod. So... This is what it is. I have many other devices. And I plan so many different videos for this Apple HomePod. You guys already know I'm going to do sound tests on the Bose, the JBL, the Siri versus Siri. Is the HomePod smarter than your iPhone? Once I get my hands on it, we're going to find out. All right, guys. I pretty much concludes today's video. If you guys enjoyed, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think about the HomePod, the Nintendo Labo. What do you think about the KSI versus Joe fight? Very, very curious to know. And Super Bowl is today. I just realized Super Bowl is today. So um, make sure you guys watch our last year's uh, Super Bowl video. That was an amazing video. The video did well, and I think you guys should watch it again just for the nostalgic feeling. So I throw that link in the description, or I throw a card on screen right now so you guys can watch that. And too bad I can't do another reaction video because chemo is not here, so I'm at to be reacting it by myself. But I don't know. I'm getting, I'm babbling here, I'm babbling here. All right, guys, until next time, peace. Follow me on Twitter, social media links will be down below. All right, I'm out. If you want, if you want some, bro, I'm ready, yo. After that, I don't, I don't think so, but.